Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to EU4 Rebuilding Rome as Byzantium. I'm your host, Shen, and thank you so much for subscribing, Totem Wolf 1967. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Totem Wolf 1967. We left off last time after just kicking the Ottomans around for our third Turkish war. We fed our vassal Georgia. We gave him all of his cores back that the Ottomans had taken. He still has two cores over here in Ganja and in Kakadi. Hopefully we can get those from Shervin somewhat easily. And I'm tempted to also go to war with Circassia. My vassal has fabricated on Circassia up here in Mantrega. If I declare for that, he's got no allies or anything. If I declare for that, I could probably just feed all of that to Georgia. Just all of it. Uh, or maybe keep one province for myself or something. I don't know. It's all low development, though. Three, four, ten, seven, seven. And I'd probably just give it all to Georgia. Uh, Georgia's at 15% Liberty Desire. Yeah, just give it all to Georgia. Probably give all of Shervin to him as well. Do you have increased coring cost? Oh, he does. Oh, but it doesn't matter, does it? Circassia has increased coring cost. Shervin, they all do. All of the nations in this region, it's called the Caucasus, right? All the nations here in the Caucasus region, they all have increased coring cost. So it's going to be the same no matter which nation we get, we uh, take as a vassal. So I might as well just give it all to Georgia. It's the same same shit. Same old shit. Uh, yeah, I might as well convert some of this stuff. Why not? Uh, we took, what, five provinces? Yeah, we took five provinces for ourselves. We're coring them right now, some of them. And we took one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We took eight provinces for our vassal Georgia and one province for our vassal Syria. So we're well on our way to feeding our happy little vassals, right? Now, who's the first one to annex? Probably Georgia. Yeah, I want to get rid of Georgia as soon as possible. Uh, well, maybe not as soon as possible, but soon. Trademark. I want a rival here. I don't like these rival options. Like, who? why would I pick any of these guys for rival? Maybe Aragon? Maybe? Maybe? I mean, his allies are garbage. It would give me stronger ties with Hungary. And I do want to eat Aragon's land that he has in Italy. So if I rival him and I take his lands in Italy, I'll be in a better spot and I'll improve relations with France. You know what? That is not a bad option. That is not a bad option. I guess I'll rival Aragon. Gosh, I hate to do this. I really hate to do that. Oh, France just annexed Provence. Goodbye, Provence. I mean, that just came out of nowhere. He was Aragon's ally, and now he's dead. Think carefully and choose wisely when your ally calls you into a war. Shit. Because if the war's against France and you're a one province miner, you might just get it next. Corporal Pants, thanks for subscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Corporal Pants. Yes, you can put on your Kippa ears all you want. Is that Kippa or is that Kipo? Kipo. Damn, I always get them mixed up. All right, who is this? The nobles are upset. Nobles. Uh, don't be upset, nobles. Look, I'll give you... Uh, I don't know. I'll give you Burgas. Here you go. There you go. Stop being whiny little bitches. The clergy is going to get most of this stuff so we can convert it faster. But if they're happy with the lands they have now, I guess I shouldn't even bother giving them anything. Yeah, they have 12% of the land now and they're still happy. That'll be fine. Brandenburg has gone Protestant. All right, let's look at the religious map mode. Yeah, Protestantism has really, really come in quickly. It's unfortunate that the third and final Protestant center is on the British Isles. If it was somewhere here, like in the Netherlands or something, then it would have had a much bigger impact on the empire. But you know what? Just having two in the empire, there's an Eger and, and Munich. Just having them in Eger and Munich means a lot of the empire will be Protestant. Even Austria is getting his provinces converted by these centers. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's start moving over. More conversions, please. It's a revolt risk anyway. 50%? It's like nothing. 
we probably will get a revolt. I'm, I'm surprised we've had like zero revolts. We had one in Techie today, and that's it. Because it looked like we would get a lot more. It just never really happened. All right, let's go eat Circassia. Just full and him and give him to Georgia. Nom nom nom. He's just going to stand there. I guess I'll attack him there. Why not? Squish. Maybe squish. Probably squish. Squish. Good. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Florence will be forced to give France war reps and break trees with Aragon. Okay. I can't believe the Ottomans want to join a war against us right now. Isn't that crazy? Ottomans want to join a war against us? We just kicked their ass. We destroyed their armies, sieged down all their forts, took a bunch of their land, and took all their money and war reps. And he wants to join a war against me. I'm not sure he really thought that one through, you know? Let's get the cannons to stay here, and pretty much everyone else should get the fuck out. Is there a fort here, or is it just a uh, capital fort? It's just a capital fort, so we don't even need a soldier there. Perfect. All right, well, that was a quick war. Uh, why, why would you pick an army when I'm trying to peace out the fuck game? 54 war score. No one's going to give a shit. Give me all your cash. This is a stick up. All right, you can core all that, right, Georgia? Sure you can. You're good at coring stuff. Okay, let's, um... I guess we can go meet up here. Does Georgia even have an army? I don't see Georgia's army anywhere. I'm thinking he doesn't have one. All right, go top off Hungary. And I'm gonna let Georgia... I'm gonna make sure he's coring everything. That's coring, that's coring... That's not. That's not. Okay, so I'm going to wait for him to start coring everything, and then we'll declare the next war. I don't want to get him, you know, too busy. He's probably going to get some rebels here, too. You know, AI being AI and all that shit. When can I next you? 1914. Five more years. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, this is just a huge land grab over here. Getting him down to one province and then leaving him alive was the dumbest thing the Ottomans could do, right? If you're going to get him down to one province, just fucking annex him. You know, maybe he couldn't. Maybe he just couldn't annex him. Maybe it was just a tiny bit too much war score, you know? It's possible. Also, I need to go eat Wallachia before Hungary does. 
Yeah. Hungry, did you set these as important provinces? You did. Okay, well, I, I just need to sneak in there. Poland, did you set them as important? No, Poland did not. I just need to sneak in there and take those two. And hopefully Hungary doesn't give a shit, right? Hopefully Hungary doesn't give a shit. I got my claims. I'm good to go. Oh my god. Georgia built a unit. All hail Georgia. Masters of the world. He has built a soldier. Whew. Wow. I wouldn't want to go against that soldier. No way. He's tough. He's too tough. All right. In the meantime, lower funding. And he's still not core in these. Basically, I just don't want to get in a situation where he refuses to core shit, right? So I'm just going to stand here until these cores begin. Then I know he's going to keep coring them. And then we can start do the war on Shervin. He's at war with Crimea? Interesting. Shervin conquest of Ostrakhan. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything in the war at all. It's so weird. Yeah, Theodoro allied the Ottomans. Do you like that? I like that. Theodoro allied the Ottos for reasons. Also, it looks like Ragusa is doing quite well over here. Yeah, Ragusa might full annex Bosnia. That'd be fun. Um, France. He's doing well against Aragon, as expected. Does Aragon still have allies? Just Ragusa. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more and more like we should go start getting into Naples as soon as possible. Give me a diplomat. At the end of the month, I guess we'll come back from Hungary. Yeah. Poland versus Muscovy? Oh, I gotta see this. Yeah, Polish conquest of Kaluga. So Poland has declared for this province right here, right next to Muscovy's capital. Right there, right on the border with Lithuania. And um, we'll see how that goes. He might even call me into that war because Poland is the aggressor. He's like the war leader. So he may call me in. We'll see. All right, come on back from Hungary and let's get some more claims. All right, how many troops do you have, Aragon? Seventeen thousand six hundred. What about Naples? Eleven thousand. Okay, so you're looking at about uh, eighteen and eleven. About about thirty thousand. Just about. I think we can take it. It's gonna be tough. We can take it. He is a tech behind us. It's a pretty good advantage. What about his navy? Oh man, his navy is scary. But he has no galleys. He's got six heavies, though. That's pretty terrifying, but he has no galleys. I think if we beef up our galleys, we can take him. What, what's our navy look like? What are we, chopped liver? 14 galleys. I think if we bump that up to 20, we'll be fine. Let's get six more galleys. Oh, what about Naples, though? It's not just Aragon, right? It's Naples, too. Naples probably has galleys. Yeah, five galleys. Okay. So, just ignore the transports, right? Just ignore the transports. So, seven plus... Seven plus 16, 23 ships. They have 23 ships. I've only got 21. So I need to beef up my navy. Let's build some galleys. Sixteen more galleys should probably be fine. Sixteen. Put me at thirty galleys. Yeah, that's fine. Thirty galleys is great. And that's gonna be the navy that uh, wins us a little piece of Italy. Finish in about a year. Hopefully that war's still going on in about a year. Truce with Georgia. Why did I have a truce with Georgia? I peacefully vassalized him. I don't know. Uh, what tech are you guys on Navy? Tech 8? Tech 8. So I'm ahead of them on Navy and Army tech. Beautiful. So we should probably get over here and just get Shervin done with as soon as possible. 
All right, January comes around. I'm going to pull my diplomat back from Persia, and we'll go to war with Shervin. Would you join me? No, he's only at six favors. 20 favors. 13 favors. Okay. How's the war going, Poland? He's winning. I guess it's just battles right now. Oh, the alliance was broken when we vassalized him. You're right. So we had an alliance. Then we vassalized him, which cancels the alliance. And then you get a truce from the time when the alliance is canceled. It's kind of weird that it actually counts as a cancellation of an alliance, but just the way the game is. All right, Ankara has been converted to the one true faith. Let's go ahead and core that. Our truce is up with Bosnia. Not that it matters. I mean, he's pretty much dead. Not entirely, though. He's, he's not, not super dead. He's sort of dead. I wonder if they're just going to wipe peace. He's at 99 war score. Oh, the AI is so freaking weird. I mean, he could easily just go 100% the war and peace out. Full and ex-Bosnia. He could do that. But he's being a derp. He's being a derp. All right, raise the funding. I'm going to go to war for Shervin real quick here. Still only allied to Hassa? Yes. And Crimea is doing some work in the north, so I guess I can ignore that place. Let's take you guys south instead. Yeah. We'll go straight to Shervin. Yeah, there's no other fort in the way. Should be fine. Okay, Shervin, let's do it. Take Ganja, sounds good. Now, Haasa is in the war. I don't know what the fuck he's going to bring to the war. He was friendly just a minute ago. Um, it looks like he's been improving relations with us. Yes, he has. Uh, I don't really know what he's going to do in the war. I'm not sure I really should give a shit. Um, but I kind of want to double back and get ready for Naples and Wallachia as soon as possible. So let's just get this over with. If we can white piece Haasa at any moment, I will do it. How's the fort doing? Negative 21? Okay, let's go to his capital. Does he even have an army? Lose stability or lose ducats? Um, I guess I'll lose the ducats. Taking a loan is not that big of a deal. Yeah, lose the ducats. Cores are rolling in. Get them converted as soon as possible. Hello, Tatsis. All right, Adana has converted. Core it. The only problem I have here is I won't be able to siege Tarek because Crimea is sieging it. I mean, I can siege everything else, but I can't siege Tarek. That is kind of a problem. All right, send all of the cannons. All of the cannons. All right, uh, convert. Thank you. England has no air. Really? Really? How's the war going, France? Plus 56. Oh, he's going to peace out soon. Ooh. He's going to peace out soon. I got to finish this and I got to turn around real quick. Hey, there's Sherwin's army. And Sherwin's going to win the battle. Cool. We got the walls breach in his capital. Wonder what he's up to. Let's go siege that province. No, he's going back north. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Yeah, he's going into Crimea. Okay. Works for me. I guess now I can full annex him, which is great. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, shit. I caught him? Oh, I didn't even expect to catch him. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Ragusa just full annex Bosnia. Wow. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at Ragusa, man. I don't have a general for that battle. That kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Wall breach is looking good. Yep. Double wall breach. I think that's double wall breach. Um, nope, single. Okay. So he's going to retreat probably to Dagestan, farthest he can go. Oh no, he went to Turkey. All right. Well, he knows I can't get there. So he's safe there. Once this fort in Shervan falls, though, I can go up the coast here and go take him out. Uh, what is this? Religious divergences. Let them complain. Missionary strength goes down by 1%. Clergy loses loyalty or lose stability and the clergy gain loyalty. Uh, I'm okay with the missionary strength going down for a little bit. What's the loyalty at? 54? Yeah, that's fine. It's better than losing stability. And besides, look at that. They're still converting, so I don't give a shit. That's where taking the religious idea group helped out a lot because we're still converting, you know? It's still going at a pretty good, pretty good pace. Pretty good pace. Oh, shit. We have to go siege this province now. Fuck. Well, eh, maybe. What is this? Burgers gain loyalty, gain two base tax. Increases influence. Synop? Why do the burgers want Synop? Sure, fuck it. Take it. Fine. How's the war going, France? 65%. Damn. Limely, what are you talking about? I miss someone's birthday? That's not possible. No one has birthdays in this game. Oh, you got squished. We got the walls breached in Tarek. That's nice. Let's put our cannons there. Come on, hurry up. I got shit to do, man. Hmm. Crimea is going to unsiege that. Do they have any cannons? They have no cannons. Okay. But they do have a siege pip. Maybe they'll be quick. Maybe. Let's start handing shit over. I don't think I can take everything until this fort falls. What's the total cost to an X? Like 40? 81. Oh, wow. 81 is a lot more than I expected. Shouldn't matter. Apparently, I missed someone's birthday. All right, there goes Tarek. 74 war score. Now let's see if that's enough. It is not. Okay, we're really close though. 128 out of 135. Oh, why'd you have to siege Ostrakhan, you little bastard? I'll put my cannons up there to help out. Probably gonna have to wait for that to fall. No wall breach. Shit. Oh, there's the wall breach. Hey, my cannons did a thing. My cannons helped.
Group up the galleys. Um, hey, the galleys are done. Oh, wow, this fort fell so fast. Hey, the Mamluks are clear on the Ottomans. Nice. Mamluks are getting busy. Man, there's just so much shit going on. It's like, how am I ever going to have the opportunity to go to war with Italy? And at the same time, I need to have the opportunity to go to war with the Mamluks. Uh, there's just so much shit going on at the same time. Like, I'm trying to finish this up and then go to war with Italy right away. But the Mamluks just declared the Ottomans. Means maybe I should go to war with the Mamluks first. Eh, oh, my God. Who knows? So much shit. Hey, Muscovy, get some relations with me, bro. We can be friends. We should be friends. Derp Chat has decided today is my birthday. What is today? March 1st? Fine. March 1st is now my birthday. Thank you. Oh, he'll peace out. Okay. Uh, can I get some ducats as well? I can get a little bit. Cool. Who's going to care? No one's going to give a shit. Nice. There you go. Hey, Georgia, you're looking good there, friend. Friendo, when can I next you? Three years, okay, has he cored this shit yet? He has, okay. Well, he has more stuff to core now. What's his overextension at? Overextension is at about 58%. Yeah, 2.5, it's about 58%, something like that. Sweet deal. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. And let's get ready for a war with Italy. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time where we're going to go hopefully get into Italy before Aragon gets any new allies or anything crazy like that. He is going to peace out sometime soon. Uh, so we got to be ready for it. You know, maybe we should go to war with Ragusa first. No, no, no. We'll do that at the same time. Question for Twitch chat, and I guess we'll talk about this between episodes. If I declare on Aragon, co-belligerent Ragusa, will, will the Ottomans' guarantee of Ragusa trigger from that co-belligerent, or does co-belligerent only trigger allies? Because the Ottomans are guaranteeing Ragusa, right? Does that trigger from a co-belligerent? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.